How you doing? Welcome to the Red and Black Wrestling, and I am here with Kevin McCarville, your 110 uh, pound champion from the New York City League Tournament. How are you doing? Today? I'm good. Doing good? Yep. Uh, so, in your finals match, you wrestled uh, an opponent from Stepanak. Um, yeah. It ended fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, most of your tournament has been like that, mostly first uh, period uh, pinfalls. Um, so, what has it been like scoring points for your team, especially in such a big tournament such as a uh, league tournament? Um, it's been great. I know our team really needed it this year. Um, it's been kind of a weird year, so it's like, you gotta, you gotta get points where you can. Yeah. Um, I tried to end it early. I was a little bit nervous, so I'm trying to just get it done. Um, for, for my weight class, it's been a little bit of a lighter year. Mm -hmm. uh, not as many public schools at all, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's been, I'm just doing the best for the team. And speaking of stuff, the weird year it has been, what is uh, the pandemic done today? I have a prep, uh, wrestling team, like how has practice been since we can't practice indoors? Um, how much of a struggle has it been for Iona to get on the mat? Um, yeah, it's been pretty difficult for us. We actually have a, we actually didn't have to practice outside. We were able to practice inside lovely. Um, I know other schools had a hard time, but we were lucky enough to have a good uh, athletic department to let us practice inside and have a good year. Um, we're definitely stronger than other years. Uh, a lot of new wrestlers on our team uh, definitely definitely brought up the overall uh, stature of the team. And speaking of the, the team as a whole, um, your whole team was surrounding the match almost every single, single bout, no matter whether it's finals or third place. And there's such a strong bond between the team, and I can see that um, from coaching on the other side of the mat. What is the, the brotherhood? aspect of the wrestling team mean to you? Yeah, we kind of want to like, when you're wrestling, you, you, can, you can't really hear what people are saying, you mm -hmm. can like feel that they're there. And um, I know that when, uh, personally, I know that when people are ch cheering you on and yelling, you can really feel like a... You feel that energy. Yeah, you really feel people wanting you to win, rooting for you. Yeah. So I just feel like it makes you wrestle better and gives encouragement. And speaking of all that encouragement, that motivation that you, you're getting from this tournament, what is, uh, what is Kevin McCarville doing heading into the Stex sectional tournament coming up later this week? Um, I'm just trying to practice as much as I can. We have practice all this week and finals, so it's a busy week. Mm -hmm. um, wrestling every day. Uh, Empire wrestling, probably after. Uh, just doing everything I can to prepare to be healthy. So another Empire wrestling game, right? Yeah. So um, Coach John Deagle, what has he been like with uh, the Empire wrestling guys and bringing them to Iona and coaching for both the club and the high school team? Um, it's great. He does a lot. He does a lot for Iona. Uh, brings uh, brings a lot of spark to the team. Um, he definitely runs his club well, tells us all to go. Uh, he just had Roman Bravo Young come and teach the kids at Empire. Oh, wow, that's actually Yeah, that's great. Um, uh, he's just been great. He's helped all the kids. He's a little tough, but like when you get to know him, he's a great guy. Yeah, he, he seems like such a nice guy, because whenever yeah, I love him, I'm like, hey, how you doing? He's like, hey, how you doing, bud? Yeah. And, but meanwhile, like, when you see him coaching, and it's like this, I'm not going to say aggressive, but the tone that he speaks in is, like, very energetic. It is, It's yeah. like, get him! Like, we're here high school. Like, it's very loud, but, like, you almost feed off of that energy yeah, exactly. from the coaching staff. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you think your, how do you think your team stacks as a whole uh, heading into the next couple tournaments? Um, I know you guys had a lot of big wins as a team, uh, beating St. Anthony's by a point. Yeah. And um, although Chaminade didn't go the way you guys hoped, you guys had a lot of very uh, incredible wins, including two wins over Monsignor Farrell. Um, so what has it been like as a dual team versus a, a tournament team? Where do you guys, where do you think you guys stack up? Um, I definitely think we have a chance of uh, winning sectionals as a team. Um, I know that sectionals uh, duels are an if. I don't know if that's going on. Yeah, I think it's but, Yeah. Um, I think we have a good chance of winning both. Hopefully we can come back from Sean. We had a few, we had a few players or wrestlers out that day, so it didn't go according to plan. But I definitely do think we have a chance of winning both. Alrighty, and thank you so much for your time. Yeah. It's been a pleasure, and I'm rooting for you at the sectional tournament. Alright, thank you.